Hello friends, welcome to this next video module. So now it is first week of February, the exams are over, the results are out. Many of you must have scored well and uh, are enjoying and are celebrating their awesome ranks. But many of you could not make it or probably could not get the desired scores or the ranks and are trying to uh, repeat for the next year upcoming exams. So now it is time to move on. Now it is time that we think on what all resources we have at our, in our hands and what is the best way to use those resources. So without wasting much time, let us move forward. Over the past one week, I have got numerous queries about how to handle community medicine in Marrow version 4. So let me discuss about uh, with you the integrated management protocol about handling TSM subject for Marrow in the Marrow application. So I'm Dr. Mukhmohit Singh and I'm proud to be a part of the team Marrow handling a PSM uh, subject and uh, taking uh, your video lectures for community medicine. So there are four basic points I would like to discuss with you based on which we planned the PSM lectures for Mano 4. So the first point, the main foundation pillars, the four, first pillar I would say is that we wanted an exhaustive conceptual content for you. Most of the content is restructured in version 4 according to textbook of PAR. So that is first pillar. We wanted the lecture to be oriented according to PAR. Second is updates in community medicine that we wanted to share with you. Third is I also wanted to have MCQ oriented discussions for important chapters like epidemiology, like demography, like biostats and screening for diseases. And fourth is we wanted to have an ease of access where you could find the topic in various subheadings so that it's much more organized way of learning for you. So these were the four pillars that I had kept in mind. So you might be a repeater student, you might be a new student who's, uh, who's aspiring for postgraduate exams next year, or you might be a current user of the Marrow where you have already learned uh, things in version three and you are trying to uh, repeat from version 4. So let us start with some of the important topics that I have restructured. You do not, you do not need to repeat those things again. So concept of disease and concept of health chapter has been just reframed. The content remains same. The chapter on disinfection, it was earlier with environment. It is now done under waste management. Death certificates, is a newly added content. It is now covered under demography in survey techniques. ICD-11 is updated. It is available in the module number three, which is under the concept of control and health indicators. So ICD-11, disinfection, death certificates. These are three, three new added contents and I have given you the location also. As far as epidemiology is concerned, many students have asked me a lot of queries on this. Do I need to re-revise epidemiology? Yes or no? Answer is no. If you have already done version 3, you do not need to re-revise version 4 except from one video module that is descriptive epidemiology chapter. So in descriptive epidemiology chapter, I have done uh, a, a, a huge amount of change. It is based on uh, on the content available from part textbook and it is it, it discusses a lot of things which have been asked in the exams and which will be asked in the exam my recommendation is for you to go and read the or listen to the chapter on descriptive epidemiology remaining other chapters are almost more or less same regarding screening of disease biostats demography nutrition environment all are same only restructuring is done Demography, I would like to add that a new module is added if you want, if you have time, that is an optional module for all the PG aspirants. UGs, you need to study it, but for all the PG, postgraduate exam aspirant for NEET exam or AIMS exam aspirants, you need to <coughs> uh, watch the lecture on new modules on newer contraceptive methods in demography. So these were some of the gross changes. Another big, very big change that is about the chapter on communicable disease. So if you watch the uh, section or the chapter on communicable disease, many new modules have been added which are for all the communicable disease. Although it is a big overlap from microbiology, but from <clears throat> epidemiology point of view, from preventive medicine point of view, preventive health point of view, vaccines point of view, 
these chapters have been added for cholera hepatitis for typhoid diseases and so on and so forth so if you have time if you want to watch these are some new added content in the communicable disease chapter other revised modules are you need to take a list of it whatever i am saying and you need to write it if you have time i would strongly recommend you to see those all those students who had been doing version 3 you should watch these version 4 modules these are the extra added content module on social medicine it has been uh, elaborately done you will get a question you must do it occupational health is more or less same health education is uh, very um, like it has been exhaustively done so health education newly added chapter social medicine is newly added chapter Primary healthcare MDGs, Millennium Development Goals, Sustainable Development Goals. These have been restructured and new content is there. Health management is almost same. International health, I have added all the all the international health agencies. So it's a new content for you. Epidemiology of non-communicable disease is a revised module with more content. So you should study that. Newer con contraceptive methods, I have already told you, it's important in demography. So these are some of the important changes that I have brought about. You do not need to study again HIV, again the polio thing, again the TB thing. It's already done. It is not revised again. It is only restructured. If you have time, you can watch it. Otherwise, it's not necessary. For the topics that I have added new, I have already talked to you. So these were some of the important changes that we brought about in Marrow 4. And I have understood that as we move on, the disease complexity increases it does not simplify it actually increases so why not education i have given you the whole content and you in in a very summarized way in around 60 hours and you just have to do that so don't think that the syllabus is too much sir has done very much extra earlier it was good now it is not it's not like that earlier it was same syllabus in a very condensed manner now it is the same syllabus in a more organized manner Plus, we have added extra optional videos also. If you have time, you do that. For UGs, I think this content, whatever you are doing, is the required content. So, in case you face any difficulty in the chapter of textbook of PARC, so you watch the videos, then you study PARC, it will become water for you. So, with that, thank you so much for watching us. Bye-bye.